My boy, my boy, my boy. Who gon' bring my crown? And who gon' try to f Man, what's cracking? It's your boy Z Get back at it with another reaction video for y'all today. I mean, interview for y'all today. So, right here, man, I got my man Asky, you know what I'm saying? Dab up for one time here right now. This guy grinding, man. You wanna know artistry? This guy right here, man. Came, what? I don't wanna speak for him. So, you know what? We're just gonna do the interview and let him, let him talk about himself. You know what I'm saying? So, let's just jump right into it, man. So, why Asky? What, All right. What, what's, what's Asky? Um, the answer is about being too much trouble. So uh, yeah, yeah. I used to be a, uh, I used to be a street artist, so to speak. Okay. And uh, I had another, I had another name that was similar to that. Uh, I was in the room with a lot of lawyer heads, and uh, they started calling me uh, Asky. So we kind of just started going. You know what I mean? Like we just kind of started rocking with that. And then uh, my little brother was like, Asky baby. You know, like <laughs> so I get, I go with both. You know, yeah. like I still. I still started, you know, I still kept rocking with ASCII or whatever, and, um, shit, with music, once I started rapping, bro, like, I, I'm not, I'm not a very imaginative person, so I was like, fuck, what am I gonna come up with when I start, you know, when I start rapping and I start really doing this, what's my name, and I was like, damn, everybody's calling me ASCII, so just stick with it, you know, uh, like, uh, it's yeah. already what I go by, so. I get it, so, that's it. That's dope, man, just like. I like asking people that question because sometimes it's like really boring. It could be like, oh, well, that's just my name, yeah. right? But you don't never know if you don't ask. So nah, yeah, that's it's a I weird ask. name too. Yeah, bro. So, but that's I mean, dope. I like <laughs> nah, it, man. It has a ring it, to bro. it and it's different. So, yeah. so where are you from, man? I mean, I know where you're from, but I don't think the viewers know. So go yeah, ahead. Man, I'm from the T, man. I'm yeah. all over Tucson, baby. East, Southwest, wherever you want me to be, <laughs> that's where I'm from. There bro. you go. I done man. moved around everywhere, so you know what I'm saying. I'm tapped in with the city. I'm from here. You know, I'm everywhere with it. I yeah. love everywhere, man. Exactly. Love this guy, man. He, he's a yeah. grinder, man. Oh, like, we'll, we'll get more in depth, man. I'm, just, I'm yeah. excited to have him here and just talking with me. So, uh, so what, what was your life like before rapping? Like, what, what would you say? Damn. Uh, a lot of basketball, man. That about, a, lot okay. of hoop, a lot of hoops. A lot of hoops. Yeah. Uh, that was my plan to, to get out, you know? Yeah. Before I even started rapping, like, I was hooping. Yeah. Shit like committed you know what i'm saying yeah, like yeah. in the gym like consistently in the gym uh getting the reps in pretty oh, much yeah. that's it man like that's what my life was honestly and then just being with the homies you know having a lot of fun with the homies doing a lot of ignorant stuff you know <laughs> like going to the mall and like getting kicked out by security just having fun you yeah know what I'm exactly just fun, but, yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, basketball is my life. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. that's like the hardest thing walking away from that, you know? Facts, facts. But, yeah, yeah I could so, I could resonate with you with that, man. I gave up basketball my senior year this year. So I was like, you know, I'm going to step away and just do this, what I'm doing right now, yeah. man, because I, I started losing the love for it a little bit. You know? it, and, and it sucks because high school would do that to you. Yeah, exactly. You know, high school would do that to you. Yeah, and it's, it really does suck, man. How, so I know what you mean, bro. Yeah, like, so. That's, that's just me and you. I mean, if you can yeah. connect on that level, too. So, I mean, you did have a hoop dream, so you were thinking about going to college? Yeah, 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 definitely. Definitely, that was the plan. I was trying to get out of here low-key. Oh, yeah, that's... Because I just had a lot of negative, man, a lot of negative things going on. You yeah. Know? And I was just like, man, like, if I get out the city, I can start fresh, you know, get that, that clean slate. And exactly. Be an example for everybody else. Yeah, you know, I got a little saying. brother, so I was like, yeah, I'm going to look out for him and show him he could do this, too. Yeah. You know? And, uh... Damn, yeah, high school ball just really, like, ruined everything for me. That's what me. I'm saying. You know, like, and I still play now. Like, I'm barely getting back into it and, right. and stuff like that. But, yeah, it, it took away my love. It did. You know, it, it took away my love. It does that, man. So, you know, shout out to the people that still stuck with it and hey, still yeah, doing their thing, hooping, man. Like, if you still bowling, don't ever walk away from it. It's the hardest thing to it ever does. walk away from. And I feel like. I still think about it. You know, I'm, I go, I hoop. I'm not as explosive no yeah. more. Like, there's some things I can't do no more. You right. know, I'm still cold. It's still free smoke. You know what I'm saying, for anybody. But, yeah. Hey, like, if you go ahead and run two, it's me and Ask you against the world. What's up? Yeah, we you know what get it. Put some change on it, too. That's how confident I am, baby. That's what I'm talking about, about man. But yeah, man, don't ever walk away from anything. If you're really committed and you put in the time, you put in the hours, don't ever walk away from exactly. it. Exactly. Don't so, ever walk away. I was hearing it, I don't know, was it a song or a lyric? You said you went to college and you said it just wasn't for you. So did you attend? What college did you attend? I went to Pima for a little bit. You went to Pima? Bit. And yeah. what was it like? What was it like that? Just, I was bored. Yeah? I was bored. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like if I'm not getting pushed, yeah. I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not invested in it. Exactly. So if I'm just sitting in the class and like, I feel like the teachers aren't invested in me, I'm just like, man, there's a thousand other things I could be doing right now. Exactly. Which is kind of good and bad right. because you, then you start experimenting, you're young. So I started, you know, doing different things. Not drugs because I don't do drugs. <laughs> never have. But, you know, I just started, like, getting into things or whatever, and I was just like, man, you know, like, 
I don't want to do this. My heart's not invested in this. I just did it to do it, you know. Hey, I'm doing the, doing it, right? Yeah, I'm because walking the path. I'm doing right. the right thing. I'm going to school. You exactly, know? It man. Just, it was in my lane. Yes. So, you know, I tried it. Right? Yeah, we got dogs barking yeah, over dog here. Goes, dog goes in the mix. <laughs> dog goes in the mix. Hey, so, how, oh, uh, shoot, I lost my question. Oh, so how long you been pursuing music? Damn, that's a good question. I'm in my... <laughs> I'm almost in my third year. Okay. I'm almost in my third year. I'm man, two and a half years in. Only third year and you're popping yeah. like this, yeah. man? Hey, hard work, baby. Hey, that's, that's what, what I'm talking is. about. Yeah, hard hey. work. Investing, too. Exactly. Investing. That's what I'm talking about, you know? man. Investing. So what are some of your musical influences, man? Like, who do you look up to? Who were some people you listened to on your way up growing up? Man, growing up, I listened to I would listen to a lot of things, man, because my mom really put me on. Yeah. So, um, Pac is my, my favorite. Yeah. Rapper. Of course. You know, my favorite rapper, greatest artist of all time to me mm-hmm. is Michael Jackson. So I'm okay. studying a lot of Mike's ethic is ridiculous, you know? Oh, and then yeah. like as I started growing up, like I was listening to like a tribe called Quest, like yep. okay. uh, early Kanye. I don't really rock with Kanye no more. <laughs> but uh early Kanye, Lasa Hove, um Currency. I'm still a big currency? really big okay. currency fan. I'm a, his work ethic is untouched to me. Um, big Mac fan, still a Big Mac fan. Rest in peace, man. A big Mac fan. R.I.P. Man. Um, Dave East right now. Dave a lot East of Dave East right now. Dave East popping. Yeah, my bro Mark Battles. I'm tapped in. You know, I, I support his music. I've been a fan of his music for a long time. That's so, real dope. Yeah. So. Just name a few. Yeah, of course. The, the list can go on. Mm-hmm. We can talk here about artistry all day. So, um, what made you want to do music? I mean, like, you said ball, and people are like, usually if you're from Tucson, it's either you're hooping, you're rapping, you're balling, but what made you want to, what made you want to rap, per se? That's a good question. So, um, I've always, always freestyle, you know? Yeah. I've always freestyle, and basically my mom's, my mom was really, like, musically inclined. Okay. So I grew up with a lot of different music around me. Of course. My mom wrote a lot of music, rapped a little too, you oh, know what I'm dope. saying? Yeah, so I got a lot of influence from her. And uh, so it's always been around. Like, I would just BS and write a few bars here and yeah. there. I didn't really take it serious until I got to, like, high school. And I would, like, freestyle every now and then. The homies yeah. would be like, bro, kick, kick a, you know, a little 16 real exactly. quick. Like, I want to spit something real quick. But I ain't really ever take it that serious. You're like, oh, I can like, just do like, that. Yeah, like, yeah. I just do it for fun. Like, yeah. it's, it's cool, you know? And exactly. at the time, too, like, if I wanted to, like, impress a little shorty, I'd be like, oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, tell my bro, hey, <laughs> bro, give me the speed of the 16 real quick. Ain't nobody else doing this. <laughs> right? So, eventually, you know, like, some of the people I was around was just like, yo, like, you should start doing this. And yeah. I was like, nah, like, I hoop, you know what I mean? Yeah, I exactly. I don't care about this. Like, I, I just know. do this for fun. That's, that's so, crazy. I just started stepping into it, and I realized, like, in Tucson, uh, it's open. Right, it it's is open. Everything you know? is. It's man. open, and I'm competitive. So yeah. I'm like, you know what? If I feel like I could come in and do it better than everybody else, and still be in my own lane, why not? Exactly. I, you know, and it's fun. I love music already as it is. So it's just like, it's not hard for me. Yeah. I, I have a lot of things and had a lot of things going on in my life. So I literally just wake up and talk about what's happening. Yeah. That's dope. I don't never run out of inspiration, bro. Yeah. Like I think that, I think that's why I rock with you so much, man. Your music is just so real, so true. It's like your story. Like, appreciate that. You're bro. a good storyteller, man. Thank and that's you, bro. that's one of the things. If you guys are watching, his link in the description. Link to everything is going to be in the description, SoundCloud, Twitter, Instagram, you know what to do. So just run him up, listen to him, give him some feedback, I don't know. Yeah, tap in. All, hey, all the time, man. Positive, like, negative, all that. Exactly. Like, it don't matter to me. I got this skin, so we, yeah. let me know how of y'all course. feel about it. So yeah. what, um, what did you imagine doing at this age? How old are you not right now? 22. 22. So 22. What, what did you imagine your life at 22? College ball. College ball? College ball. Yeah. College ball. Like anywhere, D1, D2, you just imagine just hooping? I, I was expecting a Juco. To battles, man. Of course. To game. So how was the opening for him? I mean, I went to the opening when he opened up for his tour, and man, that was lit. He had a whole bunch like he picks good openers, man. Yeah. Like nobody mm-hmm. was bad, and nobody like everybody did their thing, and like everybody was waiting for Askey. Like, yeah, man. Hey, hey. how was that, man? The the experience and just everybody being hyped to see you. It's crazy. It's real crazy because you would think like. You know, like, oh, it's just an opener. Right. You know, because I've opened for him before. Exactly, you know? yeah, and of course. Like, yeah. oh, like, cool, like, the homie's going to go, so, like, my loved ones pull up. You know, my yeah. aunt's me, my group. You yeah, know I was I mean? there, too. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you know, bro was there. So, with this show, it was different, though. Right. I can't even tell y'all how many people we brought in. Like, yeah. It was ridiculous. Like, we had so many people at this show, and, and the thing is, is, like, bro was telling me, too, he's like, you got people asking for you. Like, people yep. are getting me asking. I remember that. So, I was like, damn, you know, like, the love that we got was ridiculous. That's the dope, energy, man. like we, 
We thrive off energy. And you, you killed know? it, man. Thank you. A round man. of applause was just one. Yeah, round of applause, Just man. dropped, like, the month before, and then you got everybody singing one your line. Like, yeah, bro. Like, that was crazy. And the thing is, we was like, damn, should we experiment? Yeah. Like, see if they'll sing the words. Like, we were kind of nervous about yeah, it. Yeah, I was the most. Yeah. I was like, damn. I was like, damn, should we do that? Yeah. And it worked. Yeah, and it was and it good, worked. man. So shout out to everybody like, who's yeah, singing, you know, singing exactly. the words and rocking with us, man. That's love forever. But yeah, man. And then we went and turned that energy up in Phoenix the next day. Yep. Shout out to Phoenix. We went crazy out there in Phoenix too, man. But yeah, that show was like one to remember. For yeah, sure. that was real dope. Beautiful. So get back to you. Besides music, I mean, on your EP five twenty six, uh, you talking about yeah, your I got that tatted on me, man. <laughs> Sway Sway talks, man. He was, he was talking about how your mom your mom passed away, mm-hmm. man. So how did that not only affect your craft but your life, man? How, it's, that losing a mom, man, ain't a joke. Yeah, you know? it it, uh, it made me grow up fast. Yeah, you know, it made me grow up fast. And uh, and uh, in bad times, you really figure out, yeah. you know, like who genuinely gives a fuck about you. Of course, you know what I mean, because I got a thousand cousins and right. unc- I got uncles. I got, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I got a lot of that. You right. know, I got a lot of that. But when when shit gets real, you figure out. You exactly. Know, you figure it out real fast too. Exactly. Because when that happens, like. I didn't have time to mourn, bro. Right. I was already figuring out how we was going to bury her. I was figuring out, you know, all the the adult shit. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was at least 16. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, like, right there at that moment, I grew up. Right. You know what I'm saying? I grew up. My brother grew up because yeah. my little brother was there with me. You know, yeah. I wasn't by myself. Exactly. So, right there, it just it just made me... Um, it just made me transition, you know? Yeah. Because I've was i always been mature, but, like, at the same time, you're 16. You're still a little kid. You don't really know what you want in life. And I feel like right there, I was like, oh, shit. Like, I got a responsibility now. Right. I got to, you know what I'm saying? I got to make sure me and my brother are good. Right. And during that time, I feel like those, like, first few years were the hardest years of my life. Yeah. Hardest years of my life. Like, I hella went without. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, shit. Like, I can imagine, man. You know, like... It was crazy. We didn't eat. Like, there's times niggas was homeless. Like, yeah. it was ugly. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Like, it was real ugly. But I don't ever take that shit back because outside of music, it made me so much more of a solid individual. And I feel like people respect me much more right. because the way I carry myself. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Like, I could talk to a, a person who's twice my age and they'll see that pain in my eye and be like, okay, yeah. this is a nigga that I can't just run around with. Exactly. You know? Like, this is a nigga I got to talk to and really have a conversation with. Right. So it just, you know, it made me grow up. And it made me see people for who they really are. Exactly. Because I had a lot of people tell me, like, oh, if you ever need anything, I got you. And I didn't need money. I didn't need anything else. I just needed somebody to be here for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And it wasn't there. So I made sure that I give that energy out to the people who I love. And whenever right. shit get real, like, I'm them. the first one people exactly. call. You know, I'm the first one people call. So exactly. I take pride in that now. And, and with the EP, like... It just happened naturally. Yeah. Like, I just went in the studio, and we just started recording, 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 recording. And I was like, damn, like, I ain't really ever, like, tapped into that situation yet. And I feel like as an artist, if I want to grow, I got to be a little vulnerable. Yep. And I got to show people, hey, I got feelings, too. Yep. It's not just... You hear it in that track. Yeah, exactly. And with that, like, it was crazy. And my mom had, like, an iPhone 3. Yeah. And uh, I found it. Okay. And I turned it on, and, like, the screen's, like, black. I couldn't see shit. Right. And I had to, like, put my flash on that joint. Uh-huh. And I started finding videos, like, hearing her voice. And yeah. that was, like, the first time I heard my mom's voice in years. So it's, amazing, it's crazy. You know what that I'm saying? Is, of course. So I was like, yo, if we get this on the project, like, yeah. you know, that that's, that's real shit. Like, yeah. I can't. You know what I'm can't saying? I can't go up. around that. Yeah. So we threw my mom's vocals on there, and I was like, damn, like, this is my inspiration for everything. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? Let's name it after her birthday. Drop it on her birthday. Yeah. You know? That's real so, dope, man. Yeah, Shout man, out my dudes, man. man. Shout yeah. out my dudes. She's probably smiling down on you right now, man. You're yeah, doing man. big things not only for yourself, but for the fam and no for the doubt, city. No doubt, man. That's Keep real dope. Close, man. So, man, how do you deal with haters? I mean, of course, two songs. You say it in one of your tracks. You say it dap you up with jealousy. Yeah. Two song niggas dap, dap you up with jealousy. Up with jealousy. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, okay, like so. It's what's your experience with that, man? I mean, we talked about how they weren't there. Like some people weren't there for you that you thought yeah. were there, gonna yeah. be there for you. But jealousy is a different type. It's of crazy. Thing, it, right? It's crazy. And the thing is, it's like. I could deal with a random person hating on me all day right. of the week, but it, it it gets real when it's somebody you love. Exactly. That's when shit gets ugly. When you find out your niggas is like the ones that are who are who are talking down on you when you're not around and not right. not keeping your name up to a certain standard. They're not holding you down when people are talking about you. Exactly. Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like right. it's crazy. It's real crazy. It is. And the thing is, before music too, I was dealing with that. Right. You know, like just just being around and like being in school, I was always different. Like. Yeah. Always did what the fuck I wanted to do. You right. know what I'm saying? I always exactly. said what I wanted. I, I try to be as respectful, you know, yeah. respectful as possible. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, dog, like, if I if I feel like something's in my mind and in my heart, I'm going to say that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying?
saying? Exactly. And and I got a lot of that from my mom and just from Tupac, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Tupac ain't never gave a fuck. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Honestly. Like, so I was like, bro, I watched Tupac just, he was a man's man. Like, right. he said whatever he wanted whenever he wanted, you know? Exactly. And I feel like with that mentality, you got to get used to people not always agreeing with, with, what, you, with what you believe in. Right. You know? And that's just what it is. And I understand that. And it makes me turn up. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, fucking, go hard yeah, I just, thrive off of negativity because right. I, if I feel like shit starts getting complacent and nobody's talking about me, I'm not doing anything. Right. I'm not as active as I should be. Exactly. Whereas if I see on Twitter, I'm getting the sub tweets and I'm getting, you know, the, right. you know, like, oh, that shit trash. Like, bet you peep me. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. thank you. Of course. Thank you. Yeah. The cl- a, a play is a play, mm-hmm. bro. So like, I love it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I've had the old oh, keep exactly. your day jobs and like, oh, like you trash and I deal with it all the time. Yeah. But the biggest thing that I've learned now is to not get out of character. Right. Because before I, I didn't give a fuck. I'd be yeah. like, nigga, like, okay, up, we in the same city. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like right. we in the same city, so it ain't nothing for me to pull up on you. Right. My niggas don't care. Right. But eventually, I, as I started growing up and I started taking my music seriously and investing into my music I'm like you know what why am I going out of my way and giving these niggas what they want exactly why am I doing that right when we in the same city so if you really want to get at me I'm in traffic yeah you know? I'm in traffic <laughs> people know what I drive right. and who I'm with they exactly. know I'm around yeah I've always been around I don't hide here right. you know what I'm saying yeah so if it's that serious and I feel like if it's beyond social media and beyond words mm-hmm. like you see me right and I'll never run from that exactly so the haste whatever I love it yeah. I drive off of it and it's just something to talk about. Yeah, that's People about, get man. curious and yeah. they want to know who I am and, right. and who the gang is and what's happening. They tap in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And most of the time, it's just like, it's insecurity. Right. It's it fake love. You know, like you you love me, but you don't know how to how to say it. Right. Whereas if, if we came together, I could give you the game and like we could easily advance and, and, and you know, get some bread together. Exactly. And fuck around and, and build together. But right. for the most part, though, it's usually niggas that I knew. Right. It's yeah. niggas I grew up with. It's niggas that I used to call family and shit like that. And I yeah. feel like that's what hurts the most. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? It's niggas that I, I, you know, we bonded together. We had a fear bond. Like, we went without at one point together. Right. That's weird. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's yeah. weird. Because were you thinking that the whole time? Like, right. It's weird to me, but exactly. it is what it is, and it, it comes with the game, and it's just, you know, everybody's going to have an opinion, and the best thing you could do is just keep it pushing and, like, let them fucking kill themselves off your success, bro. Like, right. that's it, you know? Exactly. You're going to see me regardless. Like, in this city, bro, I, I'm not just, not, I'm not going to sound cocky, but niggas see me. Right, exactly. Then that's because the ethic is there. Right. So, regardless, my name is on the flyer damn near, like, every other month. Like, yep. I'm always dropping something. The exactly. album's on the way. I'm The visuals are coming. Yep. So, you see me. Yeah, you gotta live with that. Exactly, that's your problem. You yeah. know, like that's yeah. what it is. That's gonna do him, man. Yeah, that's regardless, that's regardless, my exactly. gang gotta eat. You know what I'm exactly. saying? I got cousins to take care of, baby. Hey. We got tuitions to pay, that, man. That's I real do this dope. Shit for fun, that's real dope. You know? man. <laughs> hey, so speaking of just thriving and prospering, I mean. You're one of the big names on the Tucson Hip Hop Music Festival, yeah, man. Yeah, bless. Like, everybody's bless, anticipating that. So, bless. well, how you feeling about that, man? You're saying bless. So, like, I've, obviously, you're feeling blessed to be oh, in the position yeah. that you're at right now. Bro, I'm so, happy, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm ecstatic, bro. That's dope, like, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's because last year, I was like, damn. Like, I was in my feelings. Yeah. I ain't really get on none of the stages. I did the after party. Right. And even then, I was like, damn, that's still an opportunity to get in there. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, and to kind of, like, make some room. Right. So, I was happy to do it. But at the same time, I was like, damn, these niggas don't know who I am yet. Yeah. So, instead of me just like, oh, like, fuck this shit. Like, I'm yeah. going to be mad. Like, I was just like, you know, it's time to step it's time up. To grind. It's time to work. Right. It's time to improve. And the thing is, is, I wasn't even expecting it this year. I was right. just like, yo, whatever stage when I get on, I'm going to just rock. You yeah. know, I'm going to just uh. rock. And I saw that email, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? So That's like, real dope. It's a, it's a blessing, bro. That's like, real it's, dope, It's man. a major blessing, and I'm, I'm happy. You know, right. I'm, I'm really happy. Shout out to Pike. Pike, Pike Romero, man. I can't even speak because that's how happy I am. Yeah, Pike, uh, Jocelyn, shout out y'all. Yeah, y'all Jocelyn, saying. what up, man? We're trying uh, to get him on the. We're trying to get y'all on the interview. Hey, you know what tap saying? in, man. You know what I'm saying? Actually saying in, tap in, so tap in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mankind, what up? The whole, the whole <laughs> yeah. gang, all the man, the whole gang, man. even the ones I don't know, man. Shit, because y'all had something to do with it. So that's real dope, Tucson, man. Stand up. Thank Excited you, to be be part of the crowd and, and the yeah. function, just to be able. Yeah, to Yeah, and I'm gonna be there too. That's the thing. I'm gonna be there. Learn as soon as that whole start. I'm gonna be there. That's what happened last year. I'm gonna be there, peeping and networking. Yeah. And moving around because we need that. Here, yeah, exactly. You know? like, what Pike, what Pike and Josh are doing for so, the city of hip hop. Bless Pike, crazy. man. Bless the homie Pike, man. He's always been tapped in and showing love. And, yep. You know, yes. and he's real. He's a real one. He is, know? man. So, All facts, out. man. So, uh, what tips do you want to give to rappers that are up and coming or that are hesitant in becoming a rapper? What, what you got to say to them, man? Like, do what you want to do. 
that, you know, do what you want to do. Uh, don't ever be afraid to, to speak your mind and to be vulnerable and, and to speak from the heart because I feel like people are going to understand you um, much more when you're speaking from a, a certain place in your heart. It's much more relatable right. when you're speaking your truth and not anybody else's truth. You, you speak on what you know, like that's crucial. Right. You know what I mean? Like it's better for you to say, hey, this is happening in my life. Because there's it's weird because there's people I know personally and I still know them and they rap about some weird shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'm in the club and this and that. But it's like, nigga, I know you. Yeah. And you're lying. Right. Whereas there's other niggas I know, like 95. Right there. My brother 95, he speaks from his heart. That's heartbreak. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's hard to do. Right. That's hard to do. And yeah. he does that. And it's much more admirable. And people turn up with him at shows and really and really uh, take in his music yeah. much more because yeah. he's speaking from a, a genuine place in his heart. Exactly. And um, I would say to invest in your craft. Invest in your craft. You know, anything that you do outside of music, too, if you want to do anything, you invest in yourself. Of course. Nobody's going to give a fuck about you and care about what you got going on until you put that bread forth and it's just like, all right, my money's involved now, so I got to go harder. Yep. You start to think differently when your money's involved. Yep. Nobody else's money. When your money's involved, it's just different. Look at it different. You know what yep. I mean? So invest, invest in yourself and, uh, and network. 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 That's Don't a be one. a weirdo. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Pull up to a show every now and then. Uh, reach out to artists. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, reach out. Be cool. There's a lot of cool people out here, you know? Oh, yeah. Talk to people. You never know. Yeah, exactly, yeah, man. Talk to people. Some, some good it. tips right there for y'all, man. Take that, write it down yeah. in your notepad, iPad, whatever you got to do, and put it down. Ask your notes right there. All you know that. what I'm saying? So I like to end the, the interview with some a few fun questions for you, okay. man. So what's your, who's your favorite NBA team, man? You're big on basketball. Oh, man. And I see your retweet, so I know who your favorite team is, but go, go ahead. I'm scared to tell. I'm embarrassed to tell y'all. Just, just say it, man. Hey, just man. Go. It's Suns gang since 03. <laughs> Any nigga who don't like it, fight me. <laughs> Suns gang since 03. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I've right. been around since the Nash days. Yep. And I stayed down. I ain't run away from the squad. I stayed <laughs> down when it got ugly before book came. Yep. It got ugly. It got real many. I stayed. Um, it's 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 depressing to watch. <laughs> it hurts me. Like I feel bad because yep. everybody around me has to deal with all my salt whenever I'm watching a game and shit. <laughs> But I'm a Suns fan. I believe in the team. Hey, we're going to pick it up. And there if you, you tap in with the merch, you're going to see how tapped in I am with the Suns. Exactly. Suns gang on, day. Merch you know is hard, man. I got to cop. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to yeah. cop one soon. I'm going to cop one soon. My Suns funds gang. look sufficient. Oh, I feel like we good. No, no pressure. <laughs> so, we good. And then the last question for you, man. What's your favorite color and why? Um, <laughs> damn, that's a good question. <laughs> Hey, when I, when I get artists to say that, that means I'm asking some good questions. Man. All right. Okay. <laughs> and it's simple, too. Right. But, I say red. Red, okay. I like red. Yeah. It's an intense color. Yeah, intense color. You know, <laughs> all my family's blessed. So, now nah, I got crib cousins too. But <laughs> it's all love. Hey, hey, that game banging shit, leave it alone. Right. Leave it alone. You know, yeah, the you fake know. game banging shit too, you leave that alone. Exactly. We're going to pull your resume, nigga. We're going to pull your resume. <laughs> all right, man. Don't do that. Hey, ask it on play, nah, man. Nah, ask nah, 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 nah. <laughs> but uh, uh, red, man, red's, a, red's an intense color, though, outside of that. And I would say purple and orange because hey, I rock sons? the yep. trash ass suns. <laughs> I love y'all. Hey, but you're still rocking with it. So, like I said, man, link in descriptions to all last ASCII stuff. I'm going to say last ASCII stuff, man. He's dope man, dope dude, genuine man. Go check him out. Tucson Hip Hop Festival coming soon. What what time are you going on? March? 920. 920 in mm-hmm. March. What? What's March the 9th. March 9th. March 9th. 920. Pull up, man. It's going to be lit. It's going to be fun. And network with Ashley, yeah, man. Go I'm get out. Be there. Exactly. He's, he's the man, man. Shaking hands, kissing babies, politicking, <laughs> all that, man. Come hey, holla at me, ask man. Ask you for 2020 or what? <laughs> yeah, 2020 and the year after that, baby. And it's still fuck Trump on my bicep stand up. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. All love. About. I appreciate you having yeah, me, bro. Always. Ask you always a pleasure, bro. Love, big always. Love, man. Always. All day. Cool. So, hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you listen to the podcast, man, go ahead and subscribe to the podcast. I can't even speak. Subscribe, baby. <laughs> subscribe, subscribe, like, you know, tap in, ask you one time. Yeah. So, and that's going to do it for us today. And I hope you all enjoyed that interview with my boy, Askey. Don't forget to go into the description. Link to everything will be in the description to SoundCloud, Instagram, and Twitter. Go show some love if you're really rocking with your stuff, man. Real humble dude. Real nice to meet him. You know, and just be on the lookout, man. He's a rising star. So, you know, as you can tell by the title, man, I'm reacting to Russian rap like Russia. What's good, man? It's your boy Z Gip, you know what I'm saying? So, don't forget, man, if you like the video, give it a little thumbs up. If you did, if you do, if you love the video, if you love the content, you know, don't forget to smash that subscribe button right there. We're on the road to 2000. I'm hoping to get 2000 at the end of April. If you get 2000 by the beginning of April, man, I would, I have a nice video planned out. 
and it'll be a banger. I'm, I'm, I'm just letting y'all know right now. I'll do a giveaway. I'll do something like that along those lines. So you know what? Let's go ahead, get this in. You know what I'm saying? So today, we'll be reacting to Miyagi and Andy Panda Hustle. This is old, I know, but you know, we had to start somewhere. So Russia, my Russian viewers, you know, if I'm like, y'all got to comment below some new songs that are popping right now in Russia. Go do it right now. Go comment some songs before we get into reaction. So let's go ahead and get into this. Y'all you know I'm saying. That's it. Man, tattoo talk, y'all you know saying. Uh, uh. Hey, actually, if you're driving like this the whole time, this is a different sound. I kind of like this. I like the sound he, like the auto tune. Oh. Uh. Hey. Hey. Right? Yo, I'm gonna say it, man. Hey, I don't know what they're saying, but whatever you say, it's fire. Like, bro, nobody is using his sound that he got here in the U.S. Like the auto tune he's using, uh, the low pitch, uh, voice, kind of like the evil villain or some sort. You know, that's fire. Honestly, I like that. Comment down below what he's saying. Uh. Okay. Yo, like the beat is mellow. I like it. And also just like the vibe it gives off is like street chill. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's something I can vibe with and kind of get loose in with. Like, if I go to a club or something, you know, I get loose with it. You know what I'm saying? But just the vibe gives out for something real. Okay. Hey. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm going to pause it and say something, but I want to get in this bar. So like the beginning he came in kind of like a robotic kind of fuzzy type thing uh, on his voice which was dope and I thought he was gonna rap like that for his whole verse but he didn't I was kind of disappointed because I was hoping that maybe that was his sound uh, so this is my first time listening to them together so I don't know if that's like the thing they switch up I mean that guy's down. I think that's Andy Panda. I don't know if he's he does that where he like starts off with a voice and then does like when he gets into his verse it's a different voice, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I, I don't know what I picked up on that. Obviously not, but Okay. You know, go ahead, like the comment or go like this video right now. You know, if you want me to do a part two reaction to Russian rap, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Like I said, it's real chill, man. Hey. I like the visual effects, too. It's like Tokyo Drift, like Fast and Furious type thing, but like, I don't know, Speed Racer, you know what I'm saying? That's the kind of vibe I get. Modern. Chill. Hey. Hey. Uh. I like that a lot. You know, I'm gonna stop right there, man. I like that a whole lot. You know, I already gave you what I what 
I thought of my first impressions were, you know, this is fire. Um, so, yeah. No, with that being said, man, like I said, if you want a part two, y'all better like this video. You know, I need at least, I don't know, I, I'm going to say 200 likes for a part two to Russian rap. I'm going to need 200 of them things. You know what I'm saying? And, man, don't forget, link to my uh, Instagram and Twitter is also in the description below. Go ahead, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Shoot me a DM about what to react to next or comment down below which I want me to react to. You know what I'm saying? Because we popping. So, you know, with that being said, don't forget to remember. And don't forget to remember, if you ain't up to it and you ain't down to it, then what you going to do with it? Not a damn thing. <laughs>